If you've watched my videos in the past, you'll recognize it. It's this. It's the taser glove from a few months back. And it was basically a glove with two wires connected to the capacitor of a disposable camera charger. And it would shock people if you touched it, but it wouldn't shock you. And then, just last night, I built the small compact version. The Tic Tac Taser, as I like to call it. It's basically a miniature stun gun that is made out of a Tic Tac container. And if you don't believe me, I'll give you a demonstration at the end of the video. But, basically, it was a disposable camera board with the cap removed and replaced with two screws. They're not touching, so when you make contact with someone and press the button, it shocks them really bad. So, you might be thinking, well, it won't hurt as bad because there's no capacitor. Yes, but this is constant current. So this means when you push the button, it stays on and keeps shocking. This, one shock, and it has to recharge. So this is great. It's smaller, and uh, it's more durable, and it was easy to make. Now I'll kind of go over how to make it. So I used a smaller camera board this time. This is not a Kodak. It's some other brand, like a Fuji or something like that. And... The board was small enough to fit inside the Tic Tac container with a battery. And I just have a battery or an old battery connector spring there and one up there to power the circuit. I also just took a normal push button switch, kind of like this one, and connected it to the button that's on the bottom of the circuits that starts the charging of the capacitor so you can take a picture. Now, this circuit was too big, but it works under the same principle. You press the button, and it turns the light on. And it sends 300 volts to where the cap used to be. I shocked myself a little bit. Um, yeah, so really straightforward. The smaller board is nice because it fits better. So, I haven't tested it with this type of board before, but it has like a neon globe lamp type of thing. And it didn't light up when I pre connected a button to the back. So I'm assuming that means it won't work as well. So that's so that's why I used uh, one like this. It's not working because the battery's not in it. So this is a, was a really straightforward project. It was basically just taking the container, putting two screws in the top, and uh, hooking it all up so that it would run. And where the capacitor used to go is replaced with that. The nice part about this setup is you can still charge up capacitors like this one. If you pay attention to the red stripe, that's positive, and that stripe is negative, connect it like that, press the button, and it starts charging. So you can still charge capacitors with it. I can charge my large capacitor bank with this, and it works great. Now, you might be wondering, how many volts does this put out? Well, there's a hold function on my multimeter, and it actually dropped. It was at 288 before. But 282 volts is what it sank to. It's hard to uh, do it with one hand, so I can't show you. But it is 282 volts. A really, really simple project. I got the idea from another YouTube user. I'll have a link to his video in the description down below. This, one, this board required no additional work, though, to make it function. He had to cut up a Kodak board. So my project was a little bit faster than his, I think. But, again, really straightforward. And, uh, it's really hard to... I used screws instead. He had metal tabs. But that's gonna do it for this video. But, as I promised before, I was gonna shock myself. And, uh, shocked myself making it. it hurts. So, three, two, one. Ow. It hurt. But, not too bad. It's, it's a good prank taser. Or enough to get someone to stop bugging you. Like, it's not enough to knock someone to the ground, but it's enough to really annoy someone. So, it's fun to play with, mess around with. And, uh, yeah, that's it, though. Really simple project. Quick project. Made it in, like, an hour. Most of that time was trying to get it to work in the enclosure. Circuit board worked in ten minutes. So there you have it. Simple, fun project portable miniature tic-tac taser.